On the next note, I want to talk about Colin Kaepernick and uh, Rihanna. More Rihanna. I don't know why I said Colin Kaepernick like that, but so there's reports coming out now that Rihanna doesn't want to perform for the Super Bowl because she's protesting the NFL and you know supports Colin Kaepernick and. I just have to be honest, because I'm like a Kanye West in the sense of, and I know a lot of conservatives and Republicans don't want to hear this, but I want to have a conversation with Colin Kaepernick. I don't hate on Colin Kaepernick. I don't agree with a lot of things that he says. Certain things he says, I do agree with. And I've actually put Colin Kaepernick in a good light, where the top comment was by Republicans saying, oh, I never knew I agreed with Colin Kaepernick on that. And I'm like, yeah, buddy, that's what it's about, love and, and communication. You might see eye to eye. So I'm not a hater, but... I'm a Kanye Wester where I'm like, you know what, I want to put Trump and Colin Kaepernick in the same room with Make America Great hats and have them have a conversation. So I'm not hating. But on that note, for Rihanna, it's just so strange to me that, you know, Rihanna comes from, I believe, the Caribbean. I forget what island, but she's an island girl who moved here. If you listen to her in interviews, you know, she's she's very, uh, her English is broken sometimes. Like she's she's... A very blessed individual, let's put it this way. She came to the United States um, and made over $200 million, according to many reports. She's got almost a quarter billion dollars. She's one of the wealthiest uh, singers and entertainers in the country. So coming from an island girl, does, barely speaks the language of the country, you know, learns English, becomes a pop star, makes $250 million. How mad could you be at a country that you came to and made a quarter of a billion dollars. You're literally the most celebrated entertainer. Women love you, men love you. You get pampered everywhere you go, you get paid. You can have anything in the world you want. It just really, I won't even say bothers me because I don't care that much, but it really rubs me the wrong way to see so many people, if you're going to be a critic and an activist, at least be grateful, at least be humble, at least be appreciative, at least say, you know what? America could be a lot worse. I don't know how racist it is if an island girl can come here barely speaking English and then makes $250 million. I mean, how racist is this country? I agree with Lil Wayne, just to be honest, and I'm gonna get into statistics and stuff. I agree with Lil Wayne's approach. When they ask him about Black Lives Matter and they try to pull him into the Kaepernick stuff, Lil Wayne says, why are you, why are you put a label on it? This cop did something messed up and he should be held accountable. Like, you guys are trying to put this political agenda and a label on something. Like, he's like, Lil Wayne's like, it's not that deep to me. This police did something messed up. But Lil Wayne has a, Lil Wayne has very deep perspective where he says, you know, when I was young, he was 12 or 13 years old, he shot himself. And he said that it was a white police officer. The, the way Lil Wayne explains it, he said, a bunch of police officers that were blacker than me ran over my body and I'm bleeding there and they're searching the house for guns. He said it was a white police officer who stopped and said, what the F are you doing? Help this kid. He's about to die and bleed out. Took him to the hospital, made sure he survived. A white police officer saved Lil Wayne's life and, and police officers who are blacker than Lil Wayne didn't care about him. So Lil Wayne is forever, you know, like he's not, he, first of all, he, he support, he's like a gang member. He supports gangs and stuff. And I don't even disrespect that. Do your thing. As long as you love America, you're going to be a good citizen. You know what I'm saying? I show love. But Lil Wayne says, I don't hate all police. A policeman saved my life. I don't hate all white people. I don't, I don't play along with this Black Lives Matter stuff because I, I think they're taking a situation and putting a political agenda on it. On that note, I did the research. Uh, according to you know FBI statistics who take all homicides into consideration, on black America, in the community, or in, in homicides in general, 0.02% of people were killed by the police. You're talking about 0.02%. So that's the amount of people. They put a microscope on this 0.02%. And I'm not saying all lives don't matter. I'm not saying black lives don't matter. I'm not saying that every life isn't important. That's, I'm not saying that that percentage is not important. But what I find very hypocritical about Rihanna is she says, I'm not going to, first of all, she's got a quarter billion dollars in America. I'm not going to perform at the Super Bowl because I agree with Kaepernick. But what does she do? Who does she collaborate with? She collaborates with rappers who talk about drugs and opioids are killing tens of thousands of black people per year and tens of thousands of white, Latino and Asian people per year. Opioids and drug use is on the rise. Suicides are on the rise. Depression is on the rise. It's because... People are doing way too many drugs. I'm going to be honest. If I did cocaine and heroin and I did pills all the time, 
I'd probably be a psychopath too. I'd probably be mentally ill, depressed, and suicidal. I'm not, because I don't do a bunch of drugs like that. Um, luckily, you know, we've all had our problems, we've all had our issues, everybody gets depressed sometimes, but one of the biggest killers in the United States now is drug use, and Rihanna works with artists who nonstop promote drug use. One of the biggest killers in the black community, besides heart disease and drug use, which of course they're not gonna talk about, is crime. It's people murdering people. It's not police murdering black people. It's people murdering themselves. And this is true in the white community too. The police murdering people is not a huge statistic. And I'm not, I'm not like a shill for the police. I think police can be corrupt. I think anyone could be corrupt. I think police do a lot of good stuff. I think some police do a lot of bad stuff and bad police should be held accountable. I'm not saying that they're above the law. And I, I have been the victim of corrupt police before. So I know they exist. I know they have power trips. That's not what I'm saying, but if you really want to help the black community, you're going to talk about all issues. You're going to talk about the tens of thousands of people murdering each other, but Rihanna doesn't want to talk about that. Kaepernick doesn't want to talk about that, and not only does Rihanna not want to talk about that, but she works with artists who promote that message. So she says, oh, I'm going to, talk, I'm going to not perform the Super Bowl even though I have a quarter billion dollars for this 0.02% of black deaths and, 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 and people American deaths. But I'm gonna work with artists who promote the reason that 50, 60, 70% of uh, Americans are dying every year, preventable deaths. I'm gonna work with artists who promote that because that's what, that's what people do. That's what the celebrities do. That's what the music community does. That's what leftists and Democrats do. I'm not saying Republicans and conservatives are perfect. There's hip hypocrites on that side too. But the whole leftist ideology is a fail. And honestly, I, I could think of nothing more damaging to the black community or the white or Latino community, then the, the message that these artists promote and the message that the artists that Rihanna works with all the times, the message that they promote, which is no self-accountability, no self-responsibility, the destruction of families, the murdering of other people, the taking of drugs, the complete lack of like anything spiritual or moral. I don't know that anything is more damaging than that. So I, I it's not that I don't want to have a conversation with Kaepernick. It's not that I don't agree that there's a problem in the police force. It's not that I don't agree that there's a problem in our communities. It's that they put a microscope on something that's not the big scoop. And then when you talk about the big scoop, they say, no, 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 no. If you talk about that, you're racist. If you talk about that, you're disagreeing with me. It's like, no, I actually care about people and you're, you're responsible for tens of thousands of people dying and you're trying to save six lives and you're not even trying to really save those six lives a year because you're not even looking at the full story, what's going on with those lives, why it's happening. Like if you really want to solve the problem, you got to get to the root of the problem. You can't just pick off a few leaves and pat yourself on the back and say that you're Muhammad Ali because it's really not true and, and that's why, just to be real, that's why a company like Nike that that uh, basically goes to other countries to have cheap labor, you know, what would be considered slave labor in the United States and prison labor and, and things that are of that sort and, and unworkable hours and unworkable factories. That's why a company like Nike who works with those people who is, you know, very oppressive or at least supports oppression in other countries for extra money. That's why they're going to work with Kaepernick because it's, it's easy activism. It's commercial activism. It's mainstream activism because it's not really helping anything. It's actually making the problem worse. And you could, you could be a hypocrite. You could, you know, hurt people while you promote it and act like you're, you know, MLK Malcolm X. So that's my big scoop on that. You know, God bless Rihanna. God bless Colin Kaepernick. I'd love to have a conversation with them because I do care about black lives. I care about white lives. I care about any color, race, religion. I'm willing to speak truth to any side. Sometimes this side gets mad. Sometimes this side gets mad. I'm willing to take the heat to have a conversation and a discussion about this stuff. So God bless them. I just find it like it's just celebrity culture is just getting so cringeworthy. It's, it's really taking a lot of people I loved and respected and being like, wow, you guys are so out of touch. But when you have a quarter billion dollars, you're not, you know, you're not on the block all the time really feeling the problems that I feel and see the problems I see. The millions of families who never get a voice out, the millions of immigrants and the millions of people of all ethnicities and genders that don't get their voice on the news because they're not saying what they want to say. And you can see with Kanye West how people are willing to treat you if you do step out. So that's why millions of people are afraid to say anything because if you are of a certain ethnicity and you say something, all of a sudden they give you the same treatment. It's very, very sick stuff. On the 